How to use Pinterest Audience Insights. Hey Pinners, it's Michelle Held from Pintalk.net and today I'm going to show you Audience Insights, which is a feature of Pinterest business accounts. If you find this video helpful, please hit the like button below and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll get a notification every time there's a new YouTube video up and I have a corresponding blog post that goes with every video. And today we're talking about audience insights on Pinterest. So what are audience insights? First of all, it tells me what my audience or the people who are following me on Pinterest are engaged with. So what pins are they engaged with? And it tells me a little bit about them. And there's some comparisons I can use. I have a breakdown in my insights and I'll switch over to a screen share. You have a breakdown in insights of all your followers, your engaged followers, which is important, and then all of Pinterest, so all Pinterest users. It's good to note that this feature is only available for Pinterest business accounts and you can only access it on desktop or Pinterest web. So you gotta go in through a web browser to see this. It's just not available on the mobile app. So we'll switch over to a screen share and you'll see where I log into my desktop account and then I'll show you my actual insights. And there are some nice features you can get an idea of what your Pinterest users are really interested in. So you can tailor your content to be more about what is interesting to them and build your following, get more followers, and hopefully get people over to your website uh, and get website traffic and then make sales. So let's take a look at audience insights. If you come over to Pinterest, and uh, remember I said you had to be on desktop Pinterest to get at uh, the audience insights. So I have a, a business account and I'm on desktop Pinterest and I'm on my homepage. So if you see upper left corner, you drop this menu down where it says analytics. So I already had analytics already and the access to ads because it's a business account. You drop that down and you see on the bottom of the menu, it says audience insights. It's also saying early access, which I wrote about that in the blog post. You may or may not have this feature available. You know, Pinterest rolls out new features slowly. Usually we see them on mobile first, but this one's not on mobile. So analytics, and then audience insights. So I'm just going to select that. It takes a second to come up so you can see, this is what I'm talking about in the blog post. I have three different audiences that I can use. So Pintalk would be mine, my followers, but I also can drop that down and choose my total audience or my engaged audience. So that's two audiences there. And then all Pinterest users trying to increase your audience and you find that your pins are not so engaging you can come into all Pinterest users, choose the same category, find the same interests or like a subcategory, and then select that and get an idea of what kind of pins you, are, uh, you have to compete with and what kind of images. So it's pretty good looking there. So our categories and interests for this is we're on all Pinterest users. And I can scroll down a little bit. I get age and gender typical Pinterest audience in the US, like primarily female, and an age distribution. So there you have it, Pinners. That's Pinterest Audience Insights. Remember, it's only available for Pinterest business accounts. If you need to, you can convert for free to a Pinterest business account. I have a video on that that's a little bit older. I'm gonna be updating that very shortly. And there's a blog post that shows you how you can log into Insights and then how you can use them it's important to remember that uh, if you're putting up content and not necessarily growing a following or engaging your users, your insights might be very helpful to you so you can change the content a little bit, understand your followers and what their interests are and maybe uh, build uh, boards with more followers or an account with more followers and get website traffic and sales that you're probably really looking for. So I hope you found this helpful. Check out all my other YouTube videos on Pinterest tips, tricks, and tutorials, and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the website, pintalk.net. And of course, let's connect on Pinterest and social media. Carry on, Pinners.